Welcome to the vibrant world of Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, a 1970 movie that defied convention with its mix of satire, drama, and the exploration of Hollywood's darker underbelly. Penned by Roger Ebert, this film spirals through a whirlwind of characters, showcasing their entangled lives within the hedonistic backdrop of the 60 Seconds music scene. Among the cast, classic Hollywood actor David Gurian's portrayal remains a standout, captivating audiences with his compelling performance. His character's complexities add depth to the film's narrative, making him a memorable part of this eclectic ensemble. As the plot weaves its way through various roles and personas, each character brings a unique flavor to the story. Among these, the enigmatic persona of Ronnie Barzil strikes a chord, blending charisma with a touch of mystery, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. We're curious, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this film? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Remember, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls offers more than just entertainment. It's a snapshot of a bygone era, challenging norms, and pushing cinematic boundaries, leaving an indelible mark in movie history. Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, a 1970 film, defied categorization, blending satire, drama, and exploitation in a captivating narrative. Directed by Russ Mayer and written by film critic Roger Ebert, it emerged as a cult classic. The storyline follows an all-female rock band's journey to Los Angeles, entangled in the city's hedonistic whirlwind. The movie, despite its title linked to Valley of the Dolls, stood on its own, presenting a wild and melodramatic tale filled with sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Characters like the ambitious singer Kelly, her bandmates, and the enigmatic Zima and added layers to the film's unconventional narrative. Its visual style, combining vibrant colors, psychedelic sequences, and frenetic editing, set it apart, contributing to its cult status. Despite initial critical reception, it gained a dedicated following, influencing subsequent films and popular culture with its boldness and unique storytelling approach, leaving an indelible mark on cinema's landscape. The release of this title preceded 20th Century Fox other X-rated film, Myra Breckenridge. One poignant moment in the film involves Dolly Reed wearing a cream-colored jumpsuit, designed by Travilla, previously worn by Sharon Tate in Valley of the Dolls. Reed, upon discovering this, was moved to tears due to Tate's tragic fate months before filming began. Additionally, the theme song's re-recording by Josie Cotton for Invasion of the B-Girls stirred controversy as Cotton intended it as an homage, though Russ Mayer, the director, threatened legal action. His passing halted any pursuit. These intertwined instances offer a glimpse into the film's production and its subtle connections to other works, making it a notable piece of cinematic history. Russ Mayer, the director, confronted a clash when the film received an X rating. He wanted more explicit content, yet 20th Century Fox pushed for a swift release, rejecting his re-editing efforts. Mayer aimed for added nudity and sex scenes but was met with studio opposition, altering the course of the film's content. This clash between artistic vision and commercial demands became a pivotal point in the movie's production, shaping its final form and leaving a lasting impact on its narrative and reception. This incident encapsulates the tension between creative control and studio expectations in the movie-making process, defining the trajectory of the 1970 film, ultimately contributing to its unique character and legacy in cinema. Budgeted at a modest $900,000 and grossing 10 times its cost in the U.S. market, the film caused a stir with its X rating, sparking negative publicity for 20th Century Fox. Despite its success, controversy brewed as Russ Mayer, tagged as King Lear by mainstream media, helmed the Hollywood project under Fox's banner. Grace Kelly's outrage as a Fox board member led to lobbying for Mayer's contract termination after his subsequent film flopped. The character Zeman was loosely inspired by legendary producer Phil Spector, though neither Mayer nor Ebert had met him. Their screenplay took Roger Ebert six weeks to craft. Mayer's fallout with Fox ended his studio ties, marking the termination of his major studio filmmaking career. The film's success, despite the clashes and controversies, etched its mark on cinematic history, showcasing a clash between artistic expression and commercial viability. Originally conceived as a sequel to a popular 1967 film, this movie faced a rocky journey from its inception. 
Jacqueline Susan, the author behind the source material, crafted a treatment for the sequel, but dissatisfaction with the screenplay led to a divergence from the original plan. Fox, eager to sidestep legal repercussions, emphasized this deviation, adamantly declaring the movie as independent from its predecessor. Despite these efforts, legal disputes loomed, shadowing the film's release. Suzanne's disapproval lingered even beyond her lifetime, marking a troubled chapter in the film's history. The contentious origins and attempts to distance it from its forerunner encapsulate the intricate backstory of this cult classic, showcasing the complexities of Hollywood's creative process. Consider this, director Russ Mayer once hailed this film as his most important. Despite varied receptions, its place among the 100 most enjoyably bad movies ever made in Golden Raspberry Award founder John Wilson's book signifies its intriguing legacy. Interestingly, this movie is often cited as Pam Grier's debut, though her appearance remains brief, a testament to her journey in the industry. These facets, coupled with Mayer's personal acclaim, underscore the intricate layers of this cinematic venture. In a pivotal scene, Kelly dons a cream-colored jumpsuit carrying a poignant legacy from another film. The very suit links this movie to Valley of the Dolls, once worn by Sharon Tate. This connection isn't just costume trivia, it weaves a thread between two eras of filmmaking. Tate's association with the outfit lends a layer of depth, transcending mere fashion choices. The shared garment becomes a symbol, echoing cinematic history and bridging the gap between these narratives. It's a subtle nod that binds two worlds, quietly echoing beyond the frames of the story. John Waters once labeled it the funniest film ever made in his autobiography. Its blend of satire, drama, and a hedonistic Los Angeles journey created a cult classic. The soundtrack, featuring bands like Strawberry Alarm Clock, contributed to its allure. Interestingly, the enigmatic character Z-Man's secret wasn't planned until late in filming, despite fan theories suggesting otherwise, according to screenwriter Roger Ebert. The movie's dialogues hinted at this secret, but Ebert insists it was mere coincidence. The film remains a standout in cinematic history for its unique mix of genres and unexpected plot revelations, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. As the curtains draw to a close on our journey through the vivid tapestry of Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, it's an opportune moment to pause and reflect. This cinematic marvel, a kaleidoscope of fervor and intrigue, has woven its enigmatic threads into the fabric of our cinematic consciousness. Perhaps you found resonance in the electric pulse of its soundtrack. Or maybe it was the mesmerizing allure of its unconventional narrative that etched a place in your memory. Whatever the tether that binds you to this celluloid wonder, your connection is a testament to the film's timeless allure. Share your thoughts, let your memories breathe, and allow the essence of this iconic piece of artistry to kindle conversations and nostalgic musings. Whether it's the character's charisma, the captivating plot twists, or the sheer audacity of its storytelling, your perspective adds hues to the canvas of collective appreciation. Your unique perspective is a treasure trove, a testament to the diversity of experiences sparked by this enigmatic film. So, seize this moment to share your musings, your favorite scenes, or the emotions it stirred within. Thank you for indulging in this journey down the rabbit hole of cinematic excellence. Your engagement and passion enrich the tapestry of our shared appreciation for this timeless gem. Till we cross paths again in the realm of celluloid magic, keep the spirit of Beyond the Valley of the Dolls alive in your memories and conversations.